Hi, gorgeous Ready Set Mums. You are now 29 weeks pregnant. Now, does it feel like it was forever since you saw me? Because I know towards the end in the last trimester, I felt like the weeks just dragged out and dragged out. Make sure you enjoy it. Now, at 29 weeks, ladies, your baby is the size of a large cabbage. It's around about 15 inches long and weighs about two and a half pounds. It's actually going to double in size by the time you deliver if you deliver at full term. So it's half the size it's going to be when you deliver it and it will triple in weight between now and then. Now your baby is really, really, really busy stacking on and focusing on the development of its bones and its muscle and its lungs. This means that it needs a lot of protein, a lot of iron, a lot of vitamin C and a lot of calcium. So make sure you're including that in the foods that you are eating. Now interestingly also, you're literally getting the leftovers of what you eat and all the good stuff is going directly to your baby. So make sure that you're eating really, really good vitamin rich food, stuff with a lot of nutrients and sus substance to it so that you're looking after yourself as well and so that you've got enough energy to get through the day. Now your beautiful baby is busy stacking on the baby fat. Now this is amazing because it does a number of jobs. It's like baby Botox. All right, your fat is what will actually, the baby's fat is what will smooth out the wrinkles in its skin. It's also using it for energy, which it needs because as it's getting cramped in there, it stretches a lot. It wants to stretch and there's lots of jabs and lots of kicks, so it needs that stored energy. And also, as we spoke about last week, your baby's fat is what will help it to regulate its own temperature so it doesn't rely on you or the surrounding amniotic fluid as much. Now, as well as reacting to different stimuli like noise, sound, movement, foods, light, your baby can smile. So if you are lucky enough to see it smile in an ultrasound over the next few weeks, it's just gorgeous. It will be smiling a lot while it's relaxing and sleeping. Now at 29 weeks, ladies, let's talk about some of the symptoms that you may be experiencing. You may be experiencing some lightheadedness and this can be to a number of reasons, but just make sure that you're, you rest, you're getting plenty of water, plenty of good food, and also just monitor it in case you need to talk to your doctor about it. Hemorrhoids? They're real for a number of women, okay? I've still got the aftermath of some of mine, so drink plenty of water and it's really, really, it, it feels nicer if you're able to wipe down there with a warm cloth because hemorrhoids do sometimes poke out of your bottom if they're external and you need to be really careful of your hygiene. So, and salt baths are really good for them as well. You may also find that you've got really fast growing brittle nails that are snapping and cracking and this is because of the increase, <clears throat> excuse me, this is because of the increase in your hormones in your body and also ladies, indigestion and heartburn. As everything relaxes, a lot of women experience indigestion and heartburn because the, the acid from your stomach can come up here a lot easier. So one of the things that I found to be really useful was to avoid eating late at night. I found that if I ate and laid down straight after that, I was like, oh, there we go. Now, also if you're thinking about taking some flights around now, just check with the policies of the airlines because as you get further along in your pregnancy, some airlines have different policies and some will not allow you to fly. So if you are looking at buying tickets a little bit later on, start looking into that now. I traveled quite a bit towards the end of my pregnancy and I had to be really careful about that. Now, your check week for this week is this. One, journal. Write yourself amazing affirmations. It's really nice, especially if you're starting to feel a little bit heavier and a little bit not so well. Just get up and tell yourself how freaking amazing you are in the morning. And also start making a list of things that you might like to stockpile for once you have the baby. Once you get your baby home, you may not want to go out and about to the shops. So have things that you can keep in your house so that you don't need to duck down to the shops. And start making a list of what you're going to take into the hospital for yourself your baby and your birthing partner. So what you're going to pack in your hospital bag. Now ladies, another thing, and I left this to the end because it is a bit of a funny story. And I think it's really important for us to talk about stuff that a lot of people don't talk about. But here in, in the next few weeks, you may also realize that you start to get quite prominent veins in your legs, your chest, and your boobs. My veins became more and more darker. It was almost like they stood out, right? I was like, oh my God, what is that? Like I had my own roadmap. But another thing, just to think about and talk about and see how you're gonna go with it is once my milk came in. So once I delivered my baby, she was delivered by cesarean, my first baby. I actually was quite well endowed back then. My boobs were a lot smaller after breastfeeding a couple of kids. But my boobs grew so big, literally they were out here and square when my milk came in and 
veiny, right? So many veins and look, it does go away, okay? So don't stress too much. All right, ladies, we are loving being here with you. Week 29 of your pregnancy. We hit the 30s next week. Keep your photos and your comments coming in. Of course, let us know what you want us to research and talk with you about here at Ready, Set, Mum. And we look forward to seeing you next week for week 30 of your pregnancy. Go, Mum! We'll see you then. I'm hiding from my kids, but before you go, do you love this video? And did you want more great pregnancy information delivered directly to you? If so, make sure you just drop by and subscribe to Ready Set Mum using the links below. Good luck.